Um, you said in the past that the uh, U.S. is not contributing any money to the Iraqi reconstruction. Can you tell us what other ways the U.S. is contributing to that reconstruction and also... No, I, that's, that's not what I said. I, I talked about large-scale reconstruction projects. In the past, the U.S. government and many of you um, reporters who've been around for a bit uh, remember this, that during the Bush administration and other administrations, we would do these large-scale projects of building roads and building tunnels and bridges and all of that to provide that for uh, communities in Iraq and Afghanistan. That's not what we're doing today. We are helping with reconstruction, certainly. But this administration believes that a better approach to that, instead of spending trillions and trillions of dollars on that restructure or on that rebuilding, is to get other countries, the neighboring countries, involved as well. So the United States is certainly involved. The United States participated in the uh, Kuwaiti conference, uh, where some countries ended up uh, providing donations, loans. Uh, things of that nature, and we were certainly happy to have seen that happen. Uh, the United States' priority, though, now is stabilization and providing some of the basics. But we think it's a wonderful thing when other countries in the region will step up to the plate. The Saudis talked about this, for example. The Turks, I believe, they gave they uh, offered up some money. But I recall the Saudis having to say, you know what? We're interested in this. We're interested in helping out um, our neighbors and seeing what we can do about reconstruction. And there were more than 2,000 people or companies uh, who were involved in that Kuwait conference. And uh, speaking of neighbors, so today the Deputy Foreign Minister of Iran said that if Tehran will uh, contribute to the efforts of uh, reconstruction. How yeah. do you, do you have anything on that? You know, today? look, I, I know they have been. Um, they have been trying to gain more of a toehold, certainly in the region and in other places as well. I think we've been consistent in saying where Iran goes, trouble tends to follow. Um, where the regime goes, trouble tends to follow. I don't mean the people themselves, but rather the regime. Um, you know, there can also be very strict um, regulations when you work with a nation like that. You may not be, as a country, getting all that you bargained for. It may be um, a lot more difficult and a lot more onerous than, uh, than you think. So they're certainly entitled to do that, but um, I, I would probably caution countries. Okay. All right.